So, you know, if you take the same direction, so this is the same direction, split time cap, right? But now if you take it across the top, and then you eight step it, <laughs> that's what I was doing. I was moving through each of the positions from a split time version of, right, so this is the cap, then I took it on the top, right? So they're starting like this. My left arm will go in spin while my right arm goes anti-spin. And then they switch, right? So my right arm is going anti-spin when it goes front to back, and my left arm goes anti-spin when it goes front to back. But since one of them's always in the back and one of them's always in the front, one of them is always in spin and one of them is always anti-spin. Then I move three positions forward, right? Either in spin or anti-spin, and I'm doing the same thing. Then I move three positions forward, one in in spin, one on anti-spin. And then I move three positions forward. That was a bad example of it though. And then, <laughs> you move both of them three positions and when you do that, one of them is going in spin and one of them is going anti-spin. So if I'm here and I were moving three positions forward, my right would go anti-spin, anti-spin, and down to the bottom. And my left would go in spin, in spin down to the bottom. And then my, and then, because I'm in split time, then my right arm would go up the back while my left arm goes up the front. Then three positions forward, my right arm would go, uh, okay, so from here, one, two, three. And my left arm, from here we go one, two, three.